Alrighty, what's going on everyone? This is The Warden and I am coming at you with a murky gameplay video. I will show you a few different builds. We're going to be focusing on the spell power increase build. Or we're going to be playing this on Towers of Doom. And I'm going to show you guys all the little tricks to get the most out of your murky gameplay. Let's check it out. Alright, so we're seconds. going to be showing you the more trolley build. Uh, Egg sees further, detect stealth. Uh, no, I don't care about this. Spawning from his egg grants murky stealth for five seconds. See stealth. Oh, they have Valero. That could actually help. Ooh. Okay. In this case, I'm actually going to go for this. I'm going to go for... F uh, I could go for Fisheye, but I can also just break her out of stealth. I could, I could also place this behind a wall and be a troll about it. Also, the cool thing about safety bubbles that effectively nullifies, like, they have, they have KT and Jaina. Like, they're maximum tryharding this. It's very obvious that they're maximum tryharding this. Um, where can I put this egg that it's not? Oh, yeah, she'll, she'll find me up there. I'm just gonna put it back here. I don't really care as far as detecting stealth goes. I was gonna use it as more of a tactical thing, but I don't really care. But I'm not gonna win a fight against Valyria ever, so... Yeah. It's like, du it's like, duly noted. Not gonna win a fight against Valyria, as she can just basically man-fight me down. How much, what did she go for? Oh, she went for Crypt from Poison. Oh, okay, so she actually, like, picked the the recommended option for this yeah valera yeah yeah i don't want to just feed them half kill like quarter kills it's kind of a waste all right hold on but i also get a speed buff that's cool i didn't see that in there excuse for the detect stealth is revealed for 15 seconds placed on cooldown. This doesn't say this. Health is increased by 100%. Sight radius increased by 300%. Can see stealth. Oh, Murky's mount speed for 45%. Okay, I'm just dumb. I just can't read things, apparently. Oh, yeah, there we go, baby. Aren't you frustrated? Better believe it. F fucking Valera. It's probably gonna go hunt for my egg right now. Be ready. You must uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys this because I didn't go for obviously tougher fish is a good idea for clearing waves. This isn't exactly a map where I'm clearing waves. I'm gonna go for li the living dream or live in the dream basically. So every 15 seconds I'm alive. Uh, I gain 5% spell power up to 15%. So it obviously only takes three sets of this. So 45 seconds to uh, gain. 15% increased spell power, which isn't bad, honestly. It's a, it's a decent trade-off. Um, obviously, the downside is that I, that makes me more of a team fighter than it does make me a uh, pusher. This is a good map for pushing, but um, we're going to just utilize my bonus and team fights here so I can show you different builds. Um, I'm actually really glad that I didn't get to throw that there because this will be better. There you go. Look at the dream. Spell power increased by 15%. This is going to make me a pain in the ass. Oh, there you go. Oh, look. You see my egg? Do you? Oh, look. I placed it over here. Now you can't. Now you don't know where it is. I mean, it's actually very in the open. Are you going gonna, gonna to come? Yeah? Do you, wanna, you want the egg? There you go. I'll just bait her into that. Oh, yeah. Bait her. Bait her. Bait her. Oh, we're still killer. Killer, damn it. No. There we go. Super worth. I'll take I'll take an actual death over over that. It's not like killing the egg grants experience anyway, so it's not like a huge deal. Oh, next objective is top again anyway, so I'm going to go put another egg down in this bush. And then I'm going to clear these camps. It, I should be fighting with my team, but we also need to stay alive as far as levels go, so 
I'll put that up there. That gives me basically full visibility of the lane. Uh, uh, it shows on the map where this. I don't know why I'm. I'm, I'm just like I'm used to doing this. Look at how much sight radius this gives. If I place this here, I would see the whole lane. I would see all of that. There's a crazy amount of vision. Are you, are you like following me around here? She was following me around. Or hoping to find me. Obviously, tougher fish is a is a better option for clearing camps as well. And I kind of just realized that this is gonna take like a hundred years to clear this camp. The altar is ours. Fire from the Let me put this there, and then I'll just run back and forth here. Oh my god! Oh, and she got my fucking egg, bitch. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, Valera. Oh, God damn it. I gave them a free camp. I shouldn't have left it there. Oh, that was a, that was a terrible play on my part. I wasn't paying attention to the mini-map, and that's that's what happens when, that, when you really get stuck there. Alright, so... You kind of have a few different options here. I went for uh, Live in the Dream. I could have gone for Slime Time, which it's like Slime... Heroes that are already slimed after sliming 15 slimed heroes increases the bonus by 125 damage and then increases the slow uh, Slow amount to 30% oh shit. Uh, that's already 15 seconds uh, So you can slime time is actually really beneficial you get that if you're going for black lagoon so you basically just like Drop a giant area of slime, which is really helpful to your team um, I'm gonna throw an egg in this bush and then I'm gonna do. It doesn't really matter because it's like getting the bonus from slime. I could increase my slime radius, but I'm actually gonna go with time to krill so I can show you guys how the DPS for that works. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Potato! Oh my goodness. Hi! Welcome. It's okay if you're late. I, I didn't, honestly did not have chat highlighted, so actually my bad. Oh, cool. I'm just gonna leave that there and then kind of do this. And hope that she doesn't kill my egg like she's gonna do right now, which makes her a bitch. And then she's she's coming for me, guys. She's coming for me. Help me out. Save me. Oh dear. No. 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 Yes, free camp. Oh, baby. You know you're not doing super hot when Murky is the one killing you. So obviously this is why I like getting this bonus. Look at the, the damage over time is nuts. And obviously it stacks. Oh dear. Don't bring it over. Oh, oh, I didn't lay an egg. Oh, no. I'll give you a hug. I'll give you a hug, potato. I didn't, I didn't do it. How have you been? I haven't I haven't really been streaming much, so I just... Oh, okay. I haven't been streaming much, so I haven't seen anyone around. But it's good to have you come in, stop by for a bit. I'm so... Uh, here's here's a few things so th this build works really well when you have a little bit more uh, I don't want to say like power potential for your team but like when murky really isn't getting focus as much also I'm doing something that's really dumb for murkies and that's essentially laying my eggs in the same place like in this case this egg is now dead and now I'm just gonna have to sit here and wait for 15 seconds well Valera does whatever she's gonna do. Are you really gonna dive me? This is really... This is not a good choice for you. I was gonna go march of the Murlocs, but just because she is greedy, I just went for Octagrab just so I could guarantee a kill there. Uh, we are gonna be fighting bottom shortly. Oh, this is not a good idea. I'm gonna show you guys why this this can be beneficial. What I'm currently doing. 
Oh, Murky makes all kinds of weird noises just as a note as well. Some people don't <laughs> don't realize this. There's like a murky announcer, and it is by far the weirdest announcer the in the game. Now, uh, no, no, please. Yeah, okay. Oh, I guess. Yeah, go for that kill. No, she got a free tower. What are you? What's wrong with you, idiots? That's like if you're the kills are not worth it. You should have just gotten the tower. Because now we're not going to get either tower, and that's not good. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is not good, guys. Also, I move hella slow. Free experience? It's like, dude, I was down here. It's like... It's like, I also did help during the objective. No, stop knocking him away from me, damn it. Shit. Dude. Oh, it's also Lucio. I was gonna say, I was like, Lucio. I was like, oh, it's freaking uh, Rainer is just sitting there doing nothing. And I'm like, it's not Rainer. It's not Rainer. This is not a good idea, guys. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. Oh, not a good idea. Uh, cool story. Oh, also, Lucio killed Rainer. I uh, Lucio killed Valera. <laughs> like, okay. Ooh, my butt. Oh, my butt. See, this is part of the problem with Murky though, is that they took out the auto healing in the bubble and they added it into a talent, so now it's like, yeah, you can get out, but you still, I mean, he heals really fast, but still, it's, can be really, really hard. There you go, there you go, Octograph, Octograph, kill him, smack him, smack him. Oh, no, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh no, I wasted that actually. This realm turns against They can't yell at me. I'm not the only person that dicked off for the objective. Oh uh, okay, so yep. Oh my god. Just yet. I clicked I clicked it but I didn't click E fast enough. Restores forty percent of my maximum health, which isn't really a lot. Oh god, the stun is real. That stun is deadly. Also, Morganus is dead. They have, they just have a heavy DPS assassin team, which is... Nope, I'm dead. Rip, I'm dead, yeah. Uh, Lucio may still... Kill, okay. Kills KT. It's like, I'm not trolling. You guys, it's like, I'm just showing a different build. Whatever the case is, is what it is. Oh, I picked a stupid place to put this. He's like, this isn't exactly Murky's ideal map, guys. Oh my god, his, his freaking hits are just killing me, man. This is just straight up killing me. Alright, so I got safety bubble heals. It, it was really not the ideal choice. Um, the ideal choice is usually something along the lines of... Uh, Oh wait, actually that's not a good place to put that. It doesn't really provide the utility that it's supposed to. Oh, 
There you go. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm gonna die, but so is she. And then so might our team. Nope. There you go. Oh, jeez. Alright, so you have a few things. So, part first cast slime on this location upon landing. This actually works really well with the other uh, the other talent where you you basically slime uh, slime things and it does more damage to those that are slimed. Uh, success of basic attacks ca cast a free slime. This actually works really well with the other builds for like slime time and that stuff. Uh, so, what I'm going to be choosing instead, I'm going to be going for Wrath of Cod. Heroes hit by purpose to take an additional damage equal 50% of their maximum health. This is nuts regardless of whether or not they're a tank, because still 15% of the maximum health is a lot of damage. Uh, it's heavily beneficial to your team, and especially if you can lock someone down with Octograb, it works really well. Um, obviously it doesn't work against minions, but it's fine. You're not- I'm not really going for that. I'm going for a team fighting build anyway. So, we're gonna kinda go over this a little bit. Oh, no. No thanks. No thanks. Nope. Nope. No thanks. No guys, sorry. No. Um, there is a Valyra here. There you go. I'm just gonna beat him down. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Let me just do this. I'm gonna die. Uh, but my team might actually get off some... It might actually get a kill off some of this. Um, I'll be back into the fight in 8 seconds anyway, so I'm gonna come back in and... The cool thing about this is that Murky, essentially... Gets free damage from this, so... Uh, there we go. And... The benefit from Murky Slime with Rainer as well. There you go. We're gonna slime him down. I can basically just chase him indefinitely. I think Rainer went for Ace in the Hole. I, I would be surprised if he didn't. But he didn't. He went for Veteran Marksman, which is dumb. But had he gone for Ace in the Hole, Slime with Murky is uh, the slime time from Murky is actually uh, the best, the one of the best setups for it because. Basically, it's a four-second cooldown, and it slimes people for six seconds, and it slows them. So, yeah. Like, that's... It's really heavily beneficial to someone that has... It's basically a six-second damage buff for Rainer. Which is, like... that's It's free damage. A free damage buff. Oh. Oh, she's dead anyway. I don't even have to. But I could grab... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. That wasn't what I meant to do. Oh dear. Oh, at least he didn't die though. That's the... That's beautiful. Or he's a... F or he's just a retard. Hey. Oh god. Okay, whatever. Let's just do this. There you go, guys. Let's, let's take this tower. I mean, you didn't die to bomb, though. It's like you died to flame strike, so you can't use that as an excuse. Ugh. Whatever. The altar is rising. No, no. The altars are rising. Alright, I'm actually gonna go place an egg. I'll play, oh yeah. hmm, place an egg right there. Actually, that's dumb. That's where a team fight's gonna happen. I'll place an egg over here. And then I'm gonna grab this. This tower. Uh, increase health and respawn time. Okay. So you can go for Big Kahuna, which basically makes me a real hero, and that's what I'm gonna get. Mainly because I went for team fights, so why wouldn't I? There you go. Octograb. Unfortunately, that rezzed her. Oh god, come on, guys. 
Yeah, seriously, Lucio, why? Why are you spreading the bomb, dude? You are, you're the fast, you're the person with the most momentum for our team, and you keep spreading the bomb right into the center of us. Uh, this is a free kill for Butcher. I'm actually going to come back in, and I'll stop Jaina from poking like a butthole. Oh, okay, or she just won't poke correctly. Fire upon the gravekeeper. I'm going to place this egg right here. That gives us vision. Oh look, it's Valera. I mean, they also know that the egg's nearby, so I, but I also don't particularly care. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go and put the egg back behind the wall. So that, uh, just use the egg as a strategic kind of placement. I use it so that we had vision of Valera there. This also means that this last objective is crucial, so we can't really die. So my my objective here is going to be to go and take this camp. Oh my god, the, the camp is beefy. The downside to getting this and making Berkey into what I declare is like a real hero is that he still doesn't do real hero damage, like 134 damage at last level. Effectively, he does support level damage, but whatever. It's okay. These other, uh, these minions are gonna go in for a little wave push. Oh, look at that. Oh, woo -hoo. And then I'll take this tower. And we'll be good. And Charism's dead for last battle. We turn this, we actually turn, <laughs> turn this around. Um, so I, I'll show you guys this. Reduce cooldown of slime from four seconds to two seconds. You can really, play a crazy build because Murky doesn't have mana restrictions. You can play a crazy build with slimes, which I might show you guys. Uh, typically, I go for Octograb. Increases the damage by 31,000%. <coughs> this effectively means whoever I hit with Octograb takes so much damage that they effectively... I don't want to say die. Uh, but, yeah. they. This is... It's, it's hard. I don't know if Valyria's coming for me, if she's not. Oh yeah, look at you. Oh, look at you. There you go. I got it anyway. Lol. <laughs> oh my goodness. They say I was trolling, but 16,000. 16,000 and only like, like 15,000 shy for Siege. Not bad. Um, I also died seven times, which isn't good, but... Alrighty, and there you have it guys a full murky build that covers his spell power and all the buffs that are in between It shows you the ins and outs of his standard gameplay on a map like towers of doom If you have any suggestions for my build, please leave it down below I'll be looking at all those comments and I will see all of you guys in the next one Bye, bye guys